Hello world, hello YouTube, welcome. Um, I just want to thought I'd do a quick walkthrough on a, a software I found. It's for making a CD menu people to install your um, softwares or whatnot. Okay, it's called Autoplay Menu Builder 7.2. If you click on help people and go about, that's what it is look people. It's a, it's an autoplay menu builder, that's what it is. You, you know, it makes a CD for your people, basically the menu for a CD. Okay, I've got it from this side here people. I'll show you. I can't go to the side people because we got one dongle at the moment. I'm watching a film on YouTube, so you know, watching a channel. That's what I'm watching, people. Really, and um, anyway, this is the link to the site. So if you want to say click on it, go to the site to get the software. Software is the evolution version, people. It's uh, registered to nobody at the moment. Okay, license type as it says evolution. I'll show you. Okay, I'm gonna get to build the CD now, people. Okay, all we're gonna do, people, we're gonna go up here, press file new pick a star you want people anyone you want okay i'll use the classic this one we'll call it free sorry i'm gonna carry myself there people call it 399 okay let's go and save it people just oh, sorry name it here people press this little box save it somewhere so go to your desktop people click on desktop press new okay make a new file i've already made the file people so I'll just show you, go desktop, <coughs> click this one, like that, so you make a new file, call it a name, people. Okay, I'll just show you. Here it is, look. So you press open, people, just press save. Okay, and then just press OK. Do you want to password it? Press yes. You, you either put no, people, until you're ready to password it, if you want to. Okay, I will never, I'm going to put never. Because it's going to be free, people. I don't need password on it. Okay. <coughs> Sorry about that people, I've got sniffles going on. Okay, people, if you want to delete certain things on here, you can do one by one like that and then right click and delete it. Okay, you can just highlight it and press delete on the keyboard. All I do people, I left click it on here, drag it like that. And then I press delete on the keyboard people and they're all gone. Okay, people, what I'm going to show you, okay, you see here where it says install software. Okay, if you click here, look, it says install software. Okay, what we're going to do, people, I'm going to show you a software. I went on the internet. I got myself, sorry about that, people. Okay, on, on my desktop, people, is a file. Um, let me go and get it, this one. Okay, people, so I'll put open like that. Okay, people, on, on my computer, there's um, a file. I put, I've net, inside here, I've net, I'd all I've done was right clicked inside here, right click it. Go to a new, create a new file, people like that. Name one, I call one index, one save my file, and another one software, people. So I'm going to right click on that, delete it, I don't need it. Okay, people, I'm going to open software, I'm going to get this one. This one here, people, makes H, HM, HTML pages. There, people, it makes HTML, sorry, people, pages, that's what it makes. Okay, so that's what it does, people. So if you want, to, if you want to create a book, if you want to, you know, a book of favorites or whatever you want to do with it, or install, or just save your links, instead of all in one place, people. That's pretty good for that. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll do do a video on that. Any people, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go here. Okay, click on that. Click here. Give it a name, people. So I'm going to call it Hive EP Install Software. Okay, people, so click on it. That's what it's called. If you want to change the size of the letters here people go change the size of the letters okay i'm going to leave on 15 you can make them bold people like that or you can make them tilted like that you can underline it people if you wish okay it doesn't matter people anyway you want if you want to change the color text it's all here look just tick the boxes and the color change okay okay just anyway click on it once you named it go to action click here people go to there look run program because it's an install people it's a setup exe okay press the, the little box here go here look it automatically opens your file people so go to your wherever you put your software okay so open it there it is okay people so all you have to do is click on it click click whatever whichever one you want however many you got not all together people just choose one of them then just press open like that and it just adds it okay people that's done this one here people I'm going to go to the top of here, properties. Okay, I'm going to put Google on here, people. 
I will google.com like that people I'll show you, I'm going to show you how to make an internet link people so you click on that go here go to documents people go to there look go to web type in the page people or copy and paste it this is totally up to you okay so it's three W's sorry that people my keyboard got a bit sticky then okay just paste the Google in there like that people leave that that's done that's done people this one here people what I'm gonna do it says browse CD look so what we're gonna do right we're gonna um, just name it so let's go and see what the name let's go and see what my name what I what I called it okay people I called it my file save basically so just click on it go to up here, up here properties name it like that that's what it's called now people okay go to action click here people okay actually I'll just show you when you go to the action people you got to go up here go down to where it says explore click explore people okay and it obviously click the box it says you what file do you want to explore this one okay press it once people press this one select okay and here it says open normal open normal people means to open it like this on the side I don't want to do that people I really don't okay like that so I'm gonna go look if you click here you can press this one explore or you can go open it normal people so I'm gonna open it normal okay that's it people that's all we have to do click here press save okay people and if I go to the file itself this is the icon you get people so you know if you run it there's the software people running there look at that little square okay people this now is my new menu if I click on this one people it actually in look it actually installs the software like that look that's the software now installing look nice and easy so if I go yeah you'll actually go in there people so I put no so we'll talk in there you click Google if you notice people look you say the application is don't it don't exist okay look look it's not there that's because it's wrong people I'll show you now I'll show you what happened if you go to file see look you don't, it, this one now people's open that file there look okay so you press this one okay because we've told this one the correct place which is inside there it will go and get it people and you can drag files from here people if you wish I'll just show you let's let, let's just put a big pile of something on that people like that open this up well, not that one be sorry people okay let's say we open this up here people let's say we open it up and let's say you want to file off a desktop and put it on our CD because we want it grab it left click it hold it drag it let go people and it comes out of there look off your desktop and goes into here or you can just right click on it people go copy go in here right click and go paste and it just puts it in here people if you don't want it in there just either drag drag it back out or delete it it's up to you people whatever you want to do doesn't matter people however you want to do it I mean, so if you are going to use this kind of thing people definitely do put on a USB stick so you just copy and paste it backwards and forwards I mean unless you're going to put, otherwise it'll cost you quite a bit of money on CDs I mean, keep back, you know, keep burning new CDs each time you add a new file. I mean, unless you add them all, of course, in one go in, when you first burn the CD. It's up to you, people. However, you want to do it. Okay, I'm going to show you how to add no, a second, another menu, people. And then that's it. <laughs> okay, people, pretend you're happy now with that page, and you think, okay, I can install my software. I can add links. I can add files. Okay, if you go up here and go click on your menu, right click it go here left click duplicate give it a name people so we call it number two go yep okay but when you on say number two click here so you know where you are and I'm just gonna put welcome to people like that so just click the name people click properties change it okay if you want to move people left click hold it drag it okay if you want to move all these people or, or you want to move certain ones just left click hold it like that okay when it's all like that people just click, left click on it hold it drag it move it up like that people so it looks a bit neater looks quite nice now okay but none of these are on here people so obviously i'm going to get rid of these 
okay I'm gonna click this link I'm gonna put on here new people I'm gonna give it an action people I'm gonna tell you the action it's got is no action which is that one okay people go back to menu one let's fix the old Google link first okay click on Google and press action okay let's see what the problem is people the problem seems to be it says go to web which it is I can't see any problem there people realistically oh there is people look I'm missing the T it's HTTP double dot okay people that's it that no, Google works all because I missed the letter T okay people okay as I says okay now that's fixed so all that works now people okay now to go to menu 2 we need to add a button people you can add a button by pressing button just left click it left click and you got a button people or you can just press hot label people it's just hot label people it's just text so you can just text put text there look you can type on the next okay you can't talk like that people so just in case you're just wondering you've got to click on it go to up here go on here people type next like that enlarge it so you can actually read it so we'll have 20 on that people like that okay and just move it where you, wherever you want it people so let's say i want it there okay so i'm going to use a button like that one there people or if you want a really fancy button not that one there people because that button really i'll show you that one's really horrible okay go up here to view press gallery people choose a button you want any one you want doesn't matter any of them people whichever one you want i like this one here click that okay and then just just double left click people there it is look that's the button okay to change the name of the button people go up here type next on it like that people you can change the size of the text so you can read that one that one was about 15 okay people all you gotta do is if you gotta you can do the same thing people on menu 2 or you can do an easy way you can left click hold it drag it okay people and then um, right click duplicate okay people before you move them I'm gonna tell you to left click hold it line it up so it's like that looks it's perfect okay right click go down here look to it just move to press here people page two they've gone now people it's on page two see nice and easy go back on here people go to properties press back okay it looks like a lot of people but it's not really it's really easy okay click on that one press properties press back like that people okay but all you're going to do is press back on here if you go to action we're going to tell you now to go back to the page press this one okay we're going to say jump to page okay press here tell it to go to page two but you don't people because this is because you're on page two so you tell it to go to page 10 11 12 whichever i'm going to, to go back go back to the first beginning okay do the same for this button here people okay just in case you know you want to so press actions press this one press jump to press this people leave your main okay perfect go go back to the first menu people click next action see it's got no action people look so click on it go jump to press here people and tell it to go to page two because that's where that's where we wanted to go okay press next on this one people back to actions press up here again go down go to jump to page press here people tell it to go to go to main two menu two that's it people go over up here press file save okay people that's done if i run it and i'll just show you now watch i'll show you my install works that's my install people look there it is that's that's the in of my software going in there look if, if, if i wanted people to say yes and install it like that look but i don't want it so it could be a, it could be anything people it could be you know a video driver software it doesn't matter people it could be anything i mean you don't have to you don't have to put it on a cd people you can put an internet link here instead and let's go install it off the internet directly from the company it's up to you people save you storing it okay Press Google people, Google now will load. Like that, look, that's Google. 
But obviously, it hasn't loaded because I've only got one dongle at the moment. I'm watching a film on YouTube. I was until I decided to do this video. Okay, people. So at the moment, while the video I'm watching is paused. Okay, people. I'm just showing you how it works. So you can click on it. Okay. Okay. Just so you know, people. You know, hold 165 websites. You know what I mean? That's this maximum, people. Any more than that, it starts to crash. So you, you won't hold any more than that. But realistically, it's not made for websites anyway. It's made for you know to install your software and things like that. I mean, or, or, or you know, or so you can view files. You know what I mean, people? It's up to you, people. I mean, it's up to you. you can put as many files as one on here, people. Well, as big as your CDs, people. Unless you put it on a memory stick, so you can put whatever you want. You can put it inside your file. You can put it in there whatever you want, people. You, you might build this, people. Move this menu. Put it on your desktop, so you can actually just browse your computer easier. Maybe, probably. Okay, you might want to use the software, say, like you know, on your desktop. We, you, know, you might want to link it to all your files. Your drives doesn't matter people as long as you're all plugged in your machine you can access it people through your menu that way your desktop can be clean you've got one icon people like this icon on your desktop and you can just go to it i'll just show you this here people that's menu one if you go next that's menu two look you can press back or you can have the button to menu two and press the button back or you can go obviously forward with text and come back with the button people or you can go forward with the button and come back on the text people so to you people however, however however you want to do it you can do it with text you can do it with buttons people you can make it look as fancy as you want you know what I mean that's how you do it, people and you can also stretch the buttons people I'll just show you that anyway just so you know let's say you got a button people like that and let's say you put a text in there and it's too long I'll just show you like this text look because I'm not going to keep this button people so Let's see you put a text in there, people, and look, see the text is too small, but you make text small people, like this look, but then you can't really read it, so let's say I want a nice big text about, I don't know, about 15 people, and I want to read it, just click on it, people, left click it, drag, hold it, drag it, like that, people, and then you got a nice big long button, like that, it's still a button, people, you know what I mean, so it still works, you know, you still click on it, okay, and obviously but obviously don't do like that way because obviously that if we do that one instead of going to there you just go back on the menu because that that's the menu button okay so if you wanted that to install software people don't forget if that's your button for your software click action tab, don't have jump page click on it go run software click here people click the software go okay and now people want to click that button it will install the software and I can get rid of that one because I don't maybe I don't want it okay people anyway that doesn't just another way of doing it okay I'll, obviously I'll do videos on these ones as, as time goes on realistically but you know I'm more interested in just this part at the moment I mean okay people thanks for watching give me a like give me a thumbs up thumbs down nothing at all subscribe if you wish people okay thanks for watching thanks for your time okay YouTube thank you very much see you later soon see you soon bye thanks a lot